Hello juniors and welcome back to computer systems and programming. For this video we're going to be going over loops and how you make them in Python. So first you're going to have to make your loops project folder. So you go to file, new, pydev project, type in the name, click finish, and then you'll have your project folder. Obviously I already have mine so I don't need to make it. Then once you're done making your project you can go file, new, pydev module, and make sure you have the source folder as loops because sometimes it'll go away like it just did for me. And you have to click that little icon and make sure it's your source folder. And then you can just name it loops practice. So with this, we'll be going over the syntax of how you actually do loops. Loops are very similar to conditional statements, except they repeat over and over. Where a conditional statement only happens once, loops will check that condition over and over and over until it's not true. So the most simple loop is a while loop. So my favorite type of while loop is to count through things. So we can say while x is less than 10, print x, and then we can say do x equals plus 1. So now it'll do x equals 0, and then it says while x is less than 10, print x and then add 1 to x. And then once it finishes this line, it'll go back to the top and check. Is x still less than 10? If true, continue. If not, it'll skip it. So if we run this, remember every time you run a new module, you have to hit the drop down, run as, Python run it'll print all of this. Whoops. So it seems to just be printing one over and over and over. So something must be happening and it's not adding x plus one every time. So that's just a minor syntax thing. If I go like this, it should fix it. Now it'll print zero. So it goes through x equals zero. So x is less than 10. It'll print it add 1 to it, go back to the top. Is 1 less than 10? All right, yeah. So then it'll print it, check it, go back to the top, uh, add 1, and then go back to the top. So it goes 0, 1, 2, 3, all the way up to 9. And then as soon as it adds 1 and equals 10, 10 is not less than 10, so then it skips it, and it stops doing it, and the program ends. There's a similar uh, uh, concept, a little code in loops that you can add to end the loop early. So let's say hey, you didn't want to put this condition here. I don't know why you wouldn't, but let's just say you didn't want to. You could instead just put true, and that means that it will always run. If I put false here, it will never run. But So if I put true here, and then underneath the adding function, I can put if x is equal to or equal to or greater than 10, so if it equals 10 or more, then we can say break. And what break does is it ends the current loop. So as soon as x equals 10, it's going to break the loop. So we can go ahead and see what the error is. Seems to just be a bug. Oops, sorry, I did this backwards. So now you see the first 10 numbers. So I'm just going to comment this out. Now, if we end this and run it again, we'll see that it will run the loop because this equals true. And then you can also have this break statement in there. So it'll say, if it'll say, this is true, so it'll keep repeating. But I'll print it, then it'll add one to it and check that it's not more than, it'll check if it's more than 10. So if x is more or equal to 10, then break. But it's not more than 10, so it'll keep repeating. And it'll keep doing that until it gets to 9. Then it'll print 9, add one to 
to 9, that's 10. And then 10 is equal to 10, so then it'll break. And then it'll end the program. So this is a cool thing to use if you're doing very complex uh, loops that you're trying to manage a lot of loops at once because you can put loops inside of loops. You can say while true and then while while true. It's just like how you can put ifs inside of loops. You can put loops inside of loops inside of loops. You can put an infinite amount. And so well, it helps because you can break the loop and kind of uh, get it over with and end it from wherever you're at. So right now we've gone over while while loops, the that's one type of loop. Then we went over the break, which is a specific statement that you can use to uh, break a loop. Then the next thing we're going to go over is a for loop. So for loops are cool for printing through lists and such like that. So let's make a list of fruits. We can say apple, orange, pear, and uh, let's say pineapple. I don't really know how to spell this. But there's our fruits. Then we can say for every, for like x or whatever, we can say fruit and fruits. But for x inside of fruits, print x so now it's saying for every item inside of fruits this list print x so it's going to go through and it's going to print each of these items so we can go ahead and run this whoops we don't need that but once we run this it'll print apple orange pear pineapple you can do the same thing with uh the break inside of this as well you can say if x equals equals orange then break so now it'll say as soon as it x equals orange it's going to break the loop so if we run this it'll print apple and it'll print it then it'll check is apple orange no so continue on then it'll print orange and then it'll say is orange or equal to orange yes so then break so you can use the break in either types of loops but for loops are cool for going through uh, lists and I think if we try to go through a string it will also work so it should do for every letter in my name it'll print it out so now print it in a nice straight line don't know why you would want to do that, but you can easily do it. So that's it for loops. All you have to do now is go on to Canvas, go to the loops drills activity prompt and the debug activity prompt, read through those and then download the loops drills and debug, complete the tasks in the drills, and then you can submit them onto Canvas via a link in the activity prompts. So you submit the link to your uh, GitHub repository. It's the same as all the other drills and debug we've done, and there are instructions in the activity prompt. All right, juniors, I'll see you later.